pressure to do? In other words, you know, Scientology and say that Scientology and that you use the ethics conditions all the time, you know, in your career and all these kind of things. And but after they, yeah, but then after a, uh, after they've done a couple of them, they even start to believe it. It's very hard. You have to look. I mean, you know, these are decent, good people, and and they and they, it's like. I mean, I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to say so many alarming things, but I mean, it's. You know, how do people get involved in these destructive relationships? Just between two people, you know. There's a lot of people that get knocked around and come back, and you know, I doubt the person knocked them around on the first date. And and it's you know it's 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 sad. And and just looking at that those celebrities, you sell a little piece of your soul when you tell that lie, but you've got it all justified that you know well it's good people and it's for the church and you know I'm helping the group and that. that, that and you got it thing, but I'm telling you, you know that you're full of it a little bit. And you know that if you really look at it, it's okay. And like in any other universe, you know, if that came up in session, it would be an overt. But not there, because you're doing it. Because they've got the whole thing, I mean, this whole hard sell and all this thing. I mean, and the, what they, you know, do to retreat. Shit, actors is one thing. What about the little children they get into the sea organization? Billionaire contracts, you know. Yeah, well, what's your reaction to the Sea Org and, and 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 the way that Sea Org members are treated as opposed to the celebrity clientele? Are you aware of some of the things that happen to Sea Org members? Uh, well, I mean, I again, I've heard things, and I don't, and they seem quite plausible. I have never seen anybody been abused. I've seen. Uh, People kind of screamed at. Um, uh, but I've never I've never seen that kind of abuse. Um, I to me, I mean it's let's say, you know, you hear my story and I got out and I've got some sad tales and maybe I uh, got ripped off for a good chunk of money and this, that, and the other thing. If you look at that as compared to somebody who joins the Sea Org, it's not even comparable. Can you imagine what it would be like to have a person at your beck and call and complete disposal, your slave, who not only was a slave by, by, by force, but by, by, you know, you've got them by the mind not the balls, you got them by the mind. So they, they're in love with you, devoted to you, to do whatever you want for their entire lifetime, okay? And you can just get them, so they're working, let's say, I mean, just a person working 100 hours probably is what the average Sea Org person works a week. I'd say about 80 to 100 hours a week. What's the minimum wage on that is, you know? I mean, it's not even minimum wage shit. I mean, they build the buildings. They they do everything, high-tech stuff. I mean, is it worth at least 75000 a year? So that's it. And then you get that for 50 years, 40 years, because they get them when they're teenagers, you know? And they, you know, they, 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 and they've also hired a dentist who takes care of their teeth. They've also hired, a, you know, all these kind of things. It's part of their organization. I mean, what is that? That's just millions and millions of dollars worth of free labor. I mean, it's, 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 it's not only that, plus your whole life. And what do they get in exchange? They, they believe that they're saving this sector of the galaxy. And that's enough for them. And they're the few people who have the, the ethical fortitude to make that kind of a commitment. What's your reaction to the RPF? Uh, those are the rules of the game. But I mean, to me, what it is, 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 uh, is more of a way to control things. You know, people end up there if they're, I would think, to some degree, they feel getting out of control. And so what do you do? Is you put more control over them until you got them back in control. 
and, uh, and whether that's physical abuse or mental abuse or both, it's, uh, it's what it is. When you're in, did you know the, the, uh, you know the ins and outs of RPF, where families would be split up and people couldn't communicate for months or even years? They no, they don't talk about that much. I mean, as I got older, I mean, when I was in a little bit longer and spent more time, you know, at the upper organizations like Gold, I, I would hear about things like that and find out. And, but they try to keep that stuff away from everybody, especially celebrities, because it indicates, you know, the, 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 the company line is that uh, the Sea Org is made up of OTs. It's a group of OTs, okay? So for these people to fail, it's meaning that OTs are failing. And uh, it's kind of like a one-shot clear joining the C organization, and you have the EPF, which is the, the precursor, where you get ready. And that is supposed to, when you're finally posted in the C org, the end phenomenon of the EPF, which is called the Estates Project Force, is, which is basically where you run around and do a lot of physical labor and take a couple of courses. The end phenomenon of that is supposed to be an OT. And which is interesting to me, I've many times blown my stack when I've got, I had to get in touch with somebody at FLAG. I always had to, I had to call the president and, and of course they've got a new person answering the telephone at FLAG. And of course Scientology touts itself as the cutting edge in communication, whereas they have somebody answering the fucking phone who does not speak English. However, they are an OT. They happen to be an OT from Poland who is now 14 years old <laughs> and is now the main receptionist for an international fucking hotel. And you call and you say, what the fuck is wrong with this person? Well, they're, they're posted and they should be. They're, they, it's, 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 you got to get that job done. That, and if their stats are down, I'm sure they're back on the RPF if they hadn't learned to speak English quick enough. And that's not, that's not an exaggeration. Insanity. So you didn't know that much about what's going on in the RPF, things like that? No, I learned some things online, but... Yeah. Um, how are you as public kept away from the unfeta that's going on in the real world? I mean, if there's, you know, some really negative story about Scientology in the paper or on TV, uh, uh, are you aware of that? Uh, it's a funny thing. Like, I remember, uh, like, uh, my wife had seen uh, uh, Ted Koppel interview uh, David Miscavige, and uh, she thought that he... Uh, kind of fucked up, you know, certainly wasn't very OT. And uh, she talked to Susan Watson, who was the president of CC, said, you know, that, and CC, and Susan was like, it's almost like uh, gaslighting somebody, you know that, that expression? Yeah, like, which is, you know, kind of make him seem like they're, are you crazy? Oh, well, you know, he was just doing a tone scale drill, because you know Ted Scalpel, and, you know, just kind of to, 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 to just not is the thing, I think it's called dead agenting. And, uh, and it was an interesting thing. I mean, I had a similar experience. Well, just seeing Tom Cruise, you know, acting a little bit in a way that, you know, could distress a lot of people. And they make it into like, well, this is the greatest. Yeah, no, this is good. People just can't handle his level of enthusiasm, you know. And it's a little, okay. So that's the company line. And you go, okay, you know. Even now, when, when uh, with the release of the Tom Cruise tape and, and global attention to this, they're trying to spin it as a positive that all these people are coming to our site and, and uh, learning about Scientology and joining. Right. Whereas the rest of the world is thinking, you know, Tom Cruise is nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that's the thing, though. In their own little world, it makes sense. The funny thing is that, is, that is a Scientologist talking to Scientology, Scientologists. I mean, that's Tom Cruise. He was sitting there. I've done these kind of videos, being interviewed, knowing that his...